Hi everybody, today we're going to do a little reminder on how to spell these three words. Should, would, and could. Now these three words come up a lot in spelling mistakes because they just don't look the way that they sound and they have some silent letters in there. So what we're going to pay attention to here is what do they all have in common? Well they all have these four letters O-U-L-D. We don't hear them that way but if they were by themselves we could pronounce them as owled. Now again there is no owled sound in should, would and could but if we remember the pattern of these four letters owled. Now what is owled? Well it's just a kind of an Irish slang word for something that's old. Not appropriate to use for older people though. You'd be more likely to say I put on my owled clothes to do a bit of painting or my owled dog was very tired after our walk or would you look at the state of those owled boots. So I've written a little poem to help you remember that that owled letter pattern is in should, would and could. We don't hear it but it's in there and you're going to remember it's in there when you're doing your writing, doing your spellings. So here we go. There were some owled boots in my room on the floor. I would have worn them hiking but I couldn't go out the door. I should have thrown them out but I wanted to wear them more. Now my shoulda, woulda, coulda boots are still stinking on the floor. Now this week, myself and Fiona would love it, if you could come up with your own rhyme or poem or even just a little very short story to link that owled letter pattern with the words should, would and could. So give that a go.